What's going on guys, Purple Thumper here, bringing you part 2 of the double nuke, 114 kills, 12 deaths, demolition match on underpass. Um, if those of you guys who watched part 1, you know I already have a nuke, and I just called in my third set of Harriers, trying to get a second nuke. See, so Harrier picks me up a kill there, uh, in case you guys haven't seen part 1. Let me just give you a little recap real quick. Uh, I'm rocking the FAMAS with the red dot side and a silencer on it. Secondary weapon is a PB2000 with extended mags and FMJ. Kill streaks are 7 Harrier, 11 Chopper Gunner, 25 Nuke. Death streak is Copycat, Semtex grenades and stun grenades. And um, you can see here, I've gotten my second Chopper Gunner when the, uh, the round actually ends. So now we are heading on to the third round. Third and final round. Um, little disclaimer. To let you guys know ahead of time, you guys are probably going to be pretty pissed off about this. I do get 114 kills and only 12 deaths, but at the end of the game, for whatever reason, I forgot to bring up the scoreboard before I stopped recording this match. So at the end, you do not see the final score, but uh, for some reason you don't believe me, you can go back and check and count, but I do end up getting 114 kills and uh, 12 deaths. But here you can see I've got the second chopper gunner of the match trying to find people a lot of them are hiding I don't think I think this chopper gunner I don't think I get the nuke in I think this is the chopper gunner that doesn't get me many kills who knows I could be wrong I haven't actually um watched this gameplay in a long time it's been probably I don't know two or three weeks since I actually played this match that now that I'm doing the commentary so but no I think this is the bad chopper gunner that doesn't get me the nuke uh, I will get a third chopper gunner though before this match is over, before the round's over, to get me my second nuke of the game. But uh, anyway, as I was saying in part one to kind of keep going at this theory, um, I think especially for demolition matches, if you can figure out the enemy team's um, strategies and uh, how I, I, I call it how they run the map. And as far as that, what I mean by that is if you can figure out how the enemy team is running the map where they're going because um, there's always going to be they're always going to want to go to one side of the map more than the other they have a certain routine and every player does even me even the best players for every map they'll have a certain way they want to go sometimes they a certain player maybe will stay by a sometimes they'll maybe stay by b it all depends on uh, what they're comfortable with but if you can figure out if you can figure out what um what their strategy and how they're running the map it really helps to your advantage and that's how if you watch my videos most of the time I kinda of feel the enemy team out at the beginning of the first round just to see how they're running the map and where they like to go so this way if you can figure out like well they're always rushing A and they're not really rushing like B side or something like that then you can kind of put yourself to the back put your back towards where they're not really rushing and you really don't have to watch that area too well so it gives you more time to focus on where they're rushing the most. But um, you can see here, uh, A is already gone. We let them have that so we can get a time extension. So now I'm in the process of trying to get my, what is this? I think this would be fourth set of Harriers for the game. Um, just trying to figure out where they're running, if they're running waterway or not. And um, spawn camping is always a plus in demolition. It's a very good strategy. I don't care what anyone says. I know a lot of people don't like it because, well, you know, who likes getting spawned, you know, camped? Especially if the other team's doing it really well and you're destroying them. Nobody likes that, but it's a part of the game. You know, I'd rather, I'm more acceptable to uh, spawn camping rather than camping in general. Uh, you can see there I've gotten the fourth set of Harriers, so I'm trying to figure out where to drop it, put it in their spawn or something. Uh, you see I don't have, I have very little ammo left in my FAMAS, so I'm kind of hoping that the Harrier gets me out of my chopper gunner. So that's the uh, the one downfall to bling, guys. Is it's a great perk, but you know you don't. It's not like scavenger. You can't get more ammo. Uh, and if you've noticed my videos, I'm not the most accurate player. I kind of a uh, shoot wildly sometimes, so I run out of ammo quick. As you can obviously, you know, you can tell. So the Harrier finally gets me a kill. Halfway through, it's probably like almost gone by now. But I'm trying to get the chop myself. There, you can see I do get it myself. Now it's, you know, the ongoing question of where to hide. So I decided to hide in this building here. Because you don't really see too many people in this one little building here. It's a pretty cool building. You'll see, I don't know, maybe 
me personally see maybe like i don't know one or two enemies in that building every like uh 10 times i play this map you know so it's not a lot and uh they don't you know you're not going to really expect someone to be hiding in that building when they have their chopper gunner but fortunately this chop gunner it gets me enough kills to get the nuke you can see right there i thought man they're going to shoot this thing down quick because you can see my my set of flares just already left so one more good stinger and i'm gone and there, I don't know how that didn't destroy me. It just went right past me. But, and then you see it, they missed it again with another Stinger missile. These guys probably missed three or four Stinger missiles on me after my flares are already gone. And I've never had that happen before. So, you know, it's kind of a nice gift that helps me get the, the nuke here on them. But, yeah, it's just kind of doing some damage right now. Trying to get as many kills as I can. There is the second nuke, guys. Nuke number two, uh, you know, and like I said, I end up going 114 and 12. Can't remember how many assists I had, and I'm, I'm once again, I'm, I'm still kicking myself for it. I am sorry that I didn't, you know, for some reason, it's the first time that it's ever happened to me that I've forgotten to bring the scoreboard up at the end of the match to show you the final K to D, and you know, everyone scores, but I do end up, like I said, I hope you guys trust me. If not, you can go back and count. But it's 114 kills and 12 deaths. It's a, it's a pretty good K to D ratio, especially, you know, that's pretty low amount of deaths for having over 100 kills. So it's pretty good. There you can see it called the Nukin. Still have one sitting in my pocket that I can't call in. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please uh, stick around to see some montages of Gears of War 2, some Gears 2 commentary, and some more uh, Modern Warfare 2 commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on watching.